guys. Today I'm going to be working on this area right here that's just off of my kitchen. I recently just did like an updated kitchen decor video, so I'll link that down below. But now the space that I want to work on is this area right here, which is called a butler's pantry. The only thing about this is that they didn't install cabinets, which is what a, essentially a I guess a true butler's pantry would be it would just be like an extension of the kitchen so you would have the cabinets here and then cabinets here i had this in my last house and when i moved into this house i just found it really odd that they gave the indention for the butler's pantry but they didn't add the cabinetry to it so i've only recently learned that not very many people know what a butler's pantry is or they don't actually have one in their house but like i said it's it's typically an extension of cabinets um, that is usually aligned with the pantry. So this is my pantry door and I'm going to link the original video down below where I decorated this. Now I love this side of the pantry so that's fine we're not going to be working on that but it's this side that definitely needs a facelift so even in the end i do think that i will eventually have the cabinets made and put in a proper butler's pantry this is still a space that i thought okay i, I want to do something you know because i know i'm probably not going to do the cabinets um, for maybe another year or two so and you know what was kind of going on here just wasn't working for me anymore plus you can see my coffee pot is here so this station is going to essentially become my coffee bar if you will so anyhow you can see that i've been compiling a lot of random decor i recently just cleaned out my pie safe which is back there sorry about the lighting just the windows just make it dark sometimes but so all of some of these things came from the pie safe so i definitely need to do some organization but let's go ahead and um start cleaning this space out so i'm gonna get everything moved out except for this uh table here and then i'm actually going to show you guys some new decor that i bought and then once we get this cleaned out we're going to tackle the wall first and then the rest of this the easiest way for me to do this was just kind of lay it out like this on the floor for you guys to see but we have this rack right here which i got from hobby lobby and i thought this would be great to hang coffee mugs on and then i got two of those shelves just because the ceiling is pretty high so i'm thinking that two shelves would be a great number but i knew that i was doing this in brown so i wanted those to be white because i do like to mix wood colors and then I picked up some floral, you know me, the green, and then these have like a little bit of white detail on them. And then I have a metal scroll. I'm not sure if this is gonna be used in the end, but I was thinking maybe on the shelves as decor. And then I have this piece right here, um, just to like keep the coffee in. I found this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. have a basket over there and then, sorry, I keep pointing and the camera focuses on that, but a basket and then faux peaches. That's some color right there. You guys know I really don't implement color very often, um, but I just was in the mood to do peaches for some reason in the butler's pantry, so you'll see how that inspiration is gonna end up but that these are just the new items i will probably still incorporate some of the older decor i have but let's go ahead and clean out the space
cleared away the tables. You can see that this is made to have wine bottles in it. I only have the one, but, and I, I honestly don't even drink maybe like once a year. But anyways, I do still have plans though to add wine bottles there. I think it'll look really pretty too. And uh, I decide to keep those greens there. I've always loved them there. I think behind like the chicken wire, it just looks really pretty and kind of mutes the green a little bit. And then you can see here, these would be where wine glasses go. But maybe I'll end up doing that another time because I really don't think I have many wine glasses either. So I'll probably pick some up from Dollar Tree. All right, so I think I've decided to do a shelf in um, below and above the mug holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the first shelf, which is gonna be the one right here. And then that way I can position this piece in the right spot. So I just wanna show you guys my tip on how I put things up on the wall. I use painter's tape and I attach it from each point of where you would hang it, just like this. And then I take the nail that I'm gonna use and I puncture where, you know, the nail would essentially go, like this. And then that way, once it's on the wall, you know exactly where it's supposed to go. And then this is the next step where I then apply the painter's tape to the spot. I level it out. I use my phone to do that. And then we already have the holes where the nails will go. And then I'll do that. And then we'll hang this up. All right, so the first shelf is on. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece next. So we have that hung up and I think it's looking really good. It's looking pretty centered. This might be a little bit more to the left than it should be a little bit more to the right. But anyways, I'm loving where this is headed. However, I think I'm gonna step away from adding the second shelf up here. I think I wanna wait until the end. I wanna kinda get this space decorated a little bit, get some mugs here just to see how I feel. I'm not trying to take up all of the you know height here. I just thought that um, adding more shelving could, you know, add some more decor, maybe draw some green to the eye up here. So that was really the purpose for me wanting to add a second one. the green topiaries to both sides you know that I love to be symmetrical so I definitely love a balance I have the lamps here too I'm not sure if the lamps will actually stay but I'm just gonna give them a trial run see how I like it I know I love lamps in general because I think they give the most beautiful cozy charming glow so we'll just see you know how well they work functionally for me just kind of like moving around and making my coffee pot i know i'm gonna have to pull out my coffee pot here so that i can actually open the lid 
um, but I'll mess with the details a little bit later on. I'm working on this shelf right here. You can see that I pulled my tea uh, canister here. This is Ray Dunn. I've had this for a while. It has like a brown top, so it goes with my aesthetic. Then we have the new one with the coffee canister here and then I've actually had this one for a while it used to be in my kitchen then I put it away and I found it um, amongst my stash so I pulled it back out and I'm thinking I'm probably going to put something in here I just don't know what it is yet it's probably going to be greenery so I just have it on this side to just kind of balance some things out and then I put this piece right here in the middle I still have the price tag on just because I always keep the price tag on until like I finalize something so um so this one we're just gonna let hang out right there and then I pulled this green and I knew when I bought it that I was gonna have to take it apart because I knew I was going to like stage it on the shelf <laughs> is the basket in which I'm gonna put the peaches into, into this. So this cute little basket is from Hobby Lobby. And then I got these faux peaches from Amazon. Now the reason why I went with them off of Amazon is because they have like the little green leaf coming out of them and the ones at Hobby Lobby I just didn't think looked as good as these. So this is a 16 piece set. Um, I will link it down below, but I also have like an Amazon storefront in case you want to shop off of that. But we're going to go ahead and get these worked into this basket. So there we go. Now I'm just going to start adding these to, oops, I guess I'm going to have to add that one in later. Just want to kind of tuck these in on the sides. Just make it look like, you know, I was out in a field picking flowers and peaches. The color combinations of the white, the green, and the shades of peach is just absolutely beautiful. And I don't even know if we're gonna need these. I'm thinking that might be okay. All right, so I'm thinking of adding the peaches right here. And actually, I'm thinking I'm, I need to reverse some things. So either I can switch this with that or this with that, just because I feel like um, I need to balance out the green a little bit more. I'm sure that some of you probably think this is a lot going on, but this is definitely my style. So far, I'm actually really liking how all of this is turning out, and I do love the break in all of my white, green, and browns with the peaches, so I think that looks really lovely and also kind of wild, which I really love that look, just kind of brings the outside in. And I am just going to use plain white mugs from Dollar Tree. So I do need to get the price tags off of the bottom just because you'll be able to see them. So it'll just look a lot nicer without them on, but I'm gonna have to soak them just because I feel like they're gonna peel really weird. So we're just gonna keep them on for now. Um, so let's go ahead and get some of these up like this. I'm just 
gonna kind of put them in random spots because this is more decor visual then um, these won't be mugs that I'll actually grab to use so we'll do one up here and we'll do another one up here and maybe we'll move that one all right let me show you guys what's going on I went ahead and added the other shelf above and I'm not entirely sure how I feel. I think maybe it needs to be lowered a little bit, but even if I lowered it, you can't really see what's going on because it's so high up there that I'm thinking, you know, I'll just have to add some green. I mean, even like the little detail of the galvanized is really pretty, but I do have limes in there and you can't even see them at all. So I'm not entirely sure if I should keep that shelf up there. So definitely comment down below, let me know what you think. I could definitely lower it a little bit more, get it closer to this. Um, but let me just, it's hard to get a good angle of back here and show you guys everything like in one shot. But I feel like the shelf looks nice, but I think maybe I should just keep it really simple up there. guys a close-up shot of the very top shelf again just kept it simple so I pulled out this brown cake stand I have a matching picture to it but I also found this cute little green one that I got a long time ago and so I thought to add that instead also the other picture was a little too tall so I didn't want to like go all the way to the ceiling I just thought it would look a little bit more awkward so I went with the smaller picture instead and then added this greenery around it, which I think fills it up quite nicely and gives it some color up here. So when we drop down, we get the mug rack. And again, this is really just a decorative purpose for me. I have a whole cabinet full of mugs and that's just where I will pull them from. I just like a decor aspect, I guess, more than functionality. I don't know why I'm like that, I just do. So I went with the all white mugs and I got those from Dollar Tree. And then we have the first shelf. I like the pop of the black metal. I think it broke up quite a bit as well and it also again feeds to my aesthetic. Plus we've got the black uh, coffee maker so I feel like it doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb kind of. And then we just added some simple greenery there. And then I'll add my coffee there, tea bags into that container. And then I really do love the lamps. I'm gonna step down one more time here. I really do love them here, so they'll probably end up staying. But if I were to maybe in the future scale back and remove anything from here, it would be the lamps. And only because of, you know, the fact that they can't fit underneath this uh, shelf. So unless I got smaller lamps, I would do that. But with these specifically, they were just too tall. And I really think that the space needed the topiaries here. So that's why I didn't just remove those and slide the lamps that way. And then that way, you know, we're not taking up too much of this uh, countertop space here. But I actually really love how this turned out. I think it's super cozy. It's very me. Um, so... Yeah, and this little basket with the peaches, oh, it's absolutely everything. Probably my favorite feature in this whole space. But, um, and then looking down, we kept this really simple. I put this back that was there originally from the very first time I decorated this space. And I forget where I got this, this table. I um, put it together myself. It was probably Ashley Furniture. I do think that this is a massive improvement from my first attempt and I definitely love this. I think until I do the cabinetry and have that built in here, I don't think I'm going to go through another phase of decorating. I think this is really lovely, but give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you got any inspiration from it, let me know what you think, which part is your favorite, but that's it for today. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.